Welcome to February. Today we will talk about some of the things we do and why we do them. Last week I attended a conference and heard Dr. Louis Cruz. He reminded me that when we are working toward a goal, people need to know both the what and the why. Sometimes we, me included, skip right over the why of the change and get right to the what. And sometimes after we've been doing something for a while, we forget why we're doing it. So today, I'm dedicating this video to remembering some of the reasons why we are doing the things we are doing. But first, here's a quick summary of the what. Our first topic is on educator effectiveness deadlines. Then we'll move on to today's expectations in our PLCs and look ahead to the March in-service. And finally, we'll be discussing our five-year goal of blended and personalized learning. First, educator effectiveness. The what of educator effectiveness is that you need to complete your SLO and PPG each year. The why, however, is that you can't reach a goal if you never set one. Here are a few quotations that may help inspire you to set and meet your SLO or PPG goals. As I sit and watch the Olympics, I am reminded that those athletes have goals, and with those goals comes hard work, preparation, persistence, failure, and more hard work. Writing down and tracking your PPG and SLO can sometimes feel like extra work and more time. But, as this quote says, if you don't have a goal, you could spend your life running up and down the field and never scoring. Therefore, we want to make sure we are laser focused on what we want to get accomplished so we can accomplish our mission of ensuring that all students learn. With every why comes a what. Here are the two documents that are due tomorrow, your PPG and your SLO mid-year review. If you can't remember where to find your SLO and PPG mid-year review, or you're having trouble gaining access, please ask your team for help, or watch this video tutorial. Now on to the what and why of PLCs. First, a history lesson. Twelve years ago, we asked the public for early release days for the purpose of building professional learning communities within our schools and departments. Before this, there were not set times to meet with our colleagues. Finding time to talk about ways we can work together to ensure students learn was not consistent and therefore was not effective. So for the past 12 years, the Medford District has worked to create a professional learning community in order to improve our students' learning. Stop the video for a moment and discuss with your team. Why is it important for teachers to meet professionally on a regular basis? I'm sure many of you came up with a lot of great ideas. Here's just a short list of reasons why PLCs are important to ensuring students learn. To me, the number one reason why we continually meet and work to improve as a professional learning community is that together we are stronger. In other words, it is better to answer these questions collectively rather than separately. What do we want each student to learn? How will we know when each student has learned it? How will we respond when a student experiences difficulty in learning? And how will we respond when a student already knows it? Today, like most days, your team should be answering one or more of these key PLC questions. Here's a challenge. Can you match up the questions with the activities you do during PLC time? For example, if you are asking the question, how will we respond when a student experiences difficulty in learning? One possible answer might be that your team has discussed ways you could use a more personalized learning approach in your classroom. Stop the video for a moment and brainstorm some answers. Did any of these come up during d your discussion? Looking ahead to March, here's the what. The March in-service will look similar to January's in-service with the exception of the addition of staff meetings. If you open the shared seminar schedule, you can see what is currently planned but more will be added in the near future, including multiple technology and blended learning opportunities. If you have any suggestions for seminars that you would like to see and or teach,
please contact your principal or myself ASAP. I will be sending out the sign-up in the beginning of March. So why do we offer seminars? One reason is that we must balance our time between learning new ideas and implementing ideas. Seminars provide teachers the time to learn these ideas during the school day. A second reason? We need to practice what we preach. Our goal is to create engaged learners by giving them voice and choice over their learning. As a district, we also want to create engaged learners by giving you voice and choice over your professional learning. Every once in a while, I get asked the question, why do we have to stay until 345? On most days, when a day comes before a weekend or holiday, staff are allowed to leave when the buses leave, and this is a great perk. However, on a PLC or in-service day, you must stay until 345 if it becomes before a weekend or holiday. And here's why. Trust. Our parents and community have entrusted us with this limited time to learn and collaborate with each other. If we don't use all of this time, we are breaking their trust. Number two, every second counts. This time should be considered very precious to us as educators. If it is not, then your team needs to let me know and I'll come and help you figure out a way to use your time efficiently. And number three, efficiency of scheduling. We used to avoid Fridays or days before a holiday, but that created an early release day the week before or after a holiday, which messes up the system even more and creates a bigger hardship on our parents. Therefore, to make it easier, we changed it. Therefore, I appreciate your continued professionalism and understanding when it comes to staying until 345. This year is year one of our new five-year goal. Here's the what to increase the number of active learners in our classrooms through blended and personalized learning techniques. More specifically, this year everyone needed to learn about blended learning and then try out a strategy in the classroom and share it with your team. In May, each of you will be asked to share your understanding and what you did in your classroom to accomplish this goal through an online survey. Now back to the why. Why are we focusing on engagement and most specifically personalization techniques? Researcher John Hattie has spent many years researching effective teaching. One of his findings is that feedback and student agency, voice and choice, formative assessment and cognitive demand has a large effect size on learning. As we continue our journey of learning and implementing more personalized learning, we will read more about his findings. Asking questions are important. Keep them coming. We need to know what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're doing it. Have a great team meeting.